is going on youtubers i have here from android blackspot.com right now with at&t galaxy s3 and today i'm going to show you how to flash aokp version 4.2.2 from task 650 and kuznag these are rec recognized developers on xda and they make really great roms and aokp has been done by them since day one of galaxy s re release so let's go ahead and see how we flash this wrong and uh, to do this first of all you need a rooted s3 if you got one then you need custom recovery and an application called quick boot if you got that application that's great go if you not go ahead and download from play store because this rom i mean this application will help you boot into clock recovery if you have one of the custom rom which enables extended power menu then you can just boot into recovery from there otherwise open up the application that i mentioned and press reboot recovery and you will be booting into clock more recovery or twrp depending on what recovery you got and the process will be same on all other galaxy s3s so i will try to find as many okp 4.2.2 possible for other versions so if you don't have at and that doesn't mean you cannot flash this ROM. There will be links in the description for that. So as you can see, these are the options you're going to have in TWRP. Same thing goes for TWRP and CWM. This is CWM actually, Clockomara Recovery. And these are the options you're going to find it there. So we're going to scroll and back up if you like. I'm not going to back up, so I'm just going to go to Wipe Data Factory Reset. And delete all user data and all the information will be in the bottom again just scroll down wipe data factory reset i just do it twice or three times sometimes just to double check then we're going to wipe cache partition if you haven't figured out then the volume rockers are to scroll and uh, power button to select and twrp recovery does not really require doing this because it's all touch screen there there is a version of touch screen for clock more recovery but it's still you still have to it's completely different compared to wrp and we're not here to talk about that so let's go ahead and go to install zip from sd card choose your internal or external sd card then go to the found folder where you have those uh app roms located and go ahead and go to rom and flash it let me go ahead and find mine. I'm gonna have to go to zero and go to my download. It'll keep you for that two that two. I don't know if you could see it. For day two ATT OTA ANG. I'm gonna press that. Select that and yes, and that will start flashing the ROM. This will take quite a while. Or it it might take quite a while, or it will be done in a couple minutes, depending on the ROM itself. So this is the process bar where you can check to see how long you gotta wait. It's not gonna tell you in time, but you know you kind of get sense. As you can see, it's already done. As I told you, matter of time. Then go to download folder again and flash new. Jelly Bean Google applications. I have two of them for some reason. So 1219. Okay. 4.2. Let me see. I'm going to go back and see again. Google applications. I'm going to choose one of them and flash again, same way you did. And this is for 4.2.1, as it says right there, and it's about to be done. So just press back button and press power button, which will reboot your phone. And this is how you flash AOKP 4.2.2.
for your AT&T Galaxy S3 and if I find another links as I said before it will be in description so go ahead and check there and that's the boot animation as you can see it's black and white and the task 650 appears to be in color oh now it goes in color so I think the first one was just the kernel uh, flash no what there was an image on kernel that appears and that's what first one and this is the boot animation from AOKP swagger activated And phone has already been vibrated so it's gonna be done just like that thank you for watching guys feel free to subscribe for the full review of 4.2.2 AOKP and I will see you in the next video again thank you for watching